it's important to have it perfectly balanced, or at least where it thinks it should be balanced, when you turn it on, because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna try and run, depending on whether it's leaning forward or leaning backwards, like so. So get on this thing and get sort of balanced. Backwards, forwards, backwards. It can actually, it has an incredibly sharp turning radius. I mean, I haven't gotten to the point where I trust to do this without my feet on the ground, but that's probably just a couple hours of outside riding away before I get to that. But let's cruise around the house. It works. Cannot wait to get it into a bigger space, but I'm probably only an hour or so practice away from from uh, cruising around with my feet on the pegs in the house, uh, you know, without destroying things or hurting myself. That's the goal. So let's see. I've got a brake handle here but it doesn't actually break. It's, it's not a break. What it does is it adjusts the angle uh, by, you know, maybe 10 or 15 degrees so that you're in the proper attitude to stop quickly. So what that does is this. So now if I was moving quickly, you know, it, might, it would lower my center of gravity. When I go, it goes back to normal. When you're not sitting on it, it vibrates a bit. It really wants to go somewhere. It doesn't like sitting right at the center. So that's normal. That's with the brake. Normal with the brake. What's that? It's a little rubber grommet thingy. There we go. Let me reach back here and hold this for a couple seconds to turn it off. But then, once you've turned it off, you need to you need to be in complete control of it um, because it's not balancing itself at all, front to back anymore. And the way you park it is you just roll it back until it's on those two little red devil ears, like that. Can't wait to get it out on the street. <laughs> 